In this lesson, I'm going to go over making our project directory. So if we want to start working with Git, first we need to have a project folder or a project directory that we will actually track with Git. A directory is simply another term for folder, so I will be using these two terms interchangeably. So let's see how we would normally create a folder in the finder. We would probably right click, create a new folder, and pass it a name. Here I'm calling it Git Learning Journey. But in order to do the same thing in the terminal, we have to use a command. And the command we use is mkdir, which stands for make directory, and then we pass in the name of the directory that we want to create. So let's see this in action. Let's first go and delete the folder we just created in the finder. And then we go into the terminal. In the terminal, we can see that we're in the home folder and that's where our folder will be created. And we type in mkdir, and then the name that we want the directory to have, git learning journey. And what we just saw on the left-hand side is that our project directory was just created. So we've created our project directory, and you may notice that I've used camel case in order to give it the name. And that means there's no spaces and each subsequent word, the first letter is capitalized. Now I did this because in the terminal, the terminal splits the arguments you write by the white spaces. So if I had gone in and wrote an mkdir git learning journey, including the white spaces, we can see that it would have made three different folders, each with one of the words. So I just quickly wanted to point that out. So now we've created our project folder and we want to see how we can go into that project folder. So in the finder, how I would normally go into a folder is to double click. So now in our finder window, we're inside the Git Learning Journey folder. A quick thing to point out here is that navigating throughout the file system is an independent process in the finder and the terminal. In other words, when I go into and out of folders in the finder, that doesn't affect anything in the terminal and vice versa. At the moment in the finder, I'm in the Git Learning Journey folder, but in the terminal, I am still in the home folder. So in order to go into a folder in the terminal, we're gonna use another command, the CD command, which stands for change directory, and then we pass in the name of the directory we want to go into. So let's quickly see that. So we can see right now that we're in the home folder in the terminal. And now if we type in cd git learning journey, we can see that now we're in the git learning journey folder. So we just saw how to go into a folder, but we also want to see how to go out of a folder. So in the file system, a single dot represents the directory you're currently in, your current directory, and double dots represent the directory before or the parent directory. So in order to go to the previous folder, we'll use the double dots. So now we go into the terminal, we pass in cd dot dot, and we can see that we're back in the home folder but we actually want to be in the Git Learning Journey folder, so we're gonna type in cd git learning journey. And now we're in the Git Learning Journey folder once again. So that's it, we've created our folder and we're inside that folder at the moment. That was it for this lesson, let's quickly overview. In this lesson, we went over how to make a directory and how to navigate through the file system. And we also introduced the mkdir command and the cd command. That was it for this lesson. See you at the next one.